Welcome back everyone. In this video I'll be tackling one of the weirdest things I've heard in the ReZero community. The idea that Subaru was never isekai and that everything we see in the series is just a figment of Subaru's imagination. After all, it's only natural since Subaru is in a coma, right? Or is he? The basis of this idea stems from the opening episode of the series. We see an extremely sleep deprived Subaru trying to cross a road. This is something he mentions himself. We also see cars passing by initially. As Subaru rubs his eyes as he crosses the road, he is hit by a car and then knocked into a coma, where he then goes on to fabricate the concept of ReZero, when in reality his body is in a hospital bed somewhere. Another piece of evidence pointing at this theory is the idea that Subaru's room is actually littered with silver-haired heroines. Maybe when he was knocked into his coma, the personification of Amelia and Satella essentially came about due to Subaru's obsession with silver-haired heroines. And in fact, if you look at his shelf, you would notice that there are eight figurines of women. These could also represent the eight witches of ReZero the seven main ones, and the one extra one. The Royal Selection is a manifestation of Subaru's addiction to fantasy games. In turn, the Royal Candidates fit stereotypical archetypes of heroines. Subaru's goal, in his vision, is to make Emilia King to reach the end of the game. In this capacity, Return by Death is used as a save and reload mechanic. As the story progresses, Subaru will obtain new abilities and make new allies along the way as they take down the evil organization personified in Subaru's mind as the witch cult. So is Subaru really in a coma? Well, the answer is no because we have the answer from the author himself. That's the reason why this is a ReZero explained video rather than a ReZero theory video. Anyways, let's actually get into what the author has said about this. Tabe's question and answers confirm that Subaru's parents are in fact looking for him, however they cannot find where Subaru has disappeared to, so this confirms that Subaru is not in a coma in a hospital somewhere being looked after by his parents, he has in fact been transported to a different world, and in fact Subaru's parents have in fact got a police investigation underway but they cannot find any leads, which of course does make sense considering Subaru just randomly disappeared. It also explains why there are multiple people or multiple Isekai characters in the ReZero world so it's not an isolated incident. When looking at popular shows, especially Isekai shows, a lot of people will look at the coma theory that explains supernatural phenomena. In the case of ReZero though, Subaru is not in a coma as confirmed by Tabby himself. So hopefully that cleared the misconception. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a look at my next video coming out soon, which is Season 2, Episode 14, Cart Content.